disk of accreting matter centered on the hot neutron star. Every star exists in a state of tension between the force that holds it up and gravity, the force that would pull it down. If gravity were to prevail, a stellar madness would ensue more bizarre than anything in Wonderland. Alice and her colleagues feel, more or less, at home in the gravitational pull of the Earth, called 1G, G for Earth gravity. What would happen if we made the gravity less or more? At lower gravity, things get lighter. Near zero G, the slightest motion sends our friends floating and tumbling in the air. Little blobs of liquid tea are everywhere. Curious. If we now return the gravity to 1G, it's raining tea, and our friends fall back to Earth. I've been to a couple of parties like that myself. At higher gravities, two or three Gs say, things get really laid back. Everyone feels heavy and leaden. Except by special dispensation, the Cheshire Cat. As a kindness, we remove them. At thousands of Gs, trees become squashed. At 100,000 Gs, rocks become crushed by their own weight. At all these gravities, a beam of light remains unaffected, continuing up in a straight line. But at billions of Gs, even a beam of light feels the gravity and begins to bend back on itself. Curiouser and curiouser. Such a place where the gravity is so large that even light can't get out is called a black hole. It's a star in which light itself is imprisoned. Black holes were theoretical